welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I am going to be recording a vlog because it is a very exciting day. My new King LOL mattress is supposed to arrive today and I am so excited. We're finally going to have a great king sized bed to sleep in. So I'm hoping the delivery guy gets here early today so we can go ahead and get that bed set up. But on another note, we also woke up this morning and we had water coming through our ceiling in our bathroom. So that is no good. I reached out to my landlord and she's calling the AC guy. And hopefully we get that squared away mighty quickly because it's not good to have a constant drip coming into your bathroom. Anyways, I thought it would be fun to record a vlog today, show you what we've been up to, get my bed set up, and it's going to be a grand old day. Let's get started. My routine just about every morning now is I wake up and I grab a cup so that I can make myself either some coffee or some iced coffee. Of course, today it is iced coffee. So I'm still drinking some of my cold brew coffee that I made a day ago. Like always, I add just a little splash of heavy cream and a little squirt of stevia for some sweetness. And then I go ahead and mix up my iced coffee, grab my coffee, and call the pups. Come on, doggies, let's go! And we go outside. Come on, Bobo! And we just sit out here. If the cows are out here, we enjoy the cows. I usually come over here and sit on my plethora of coolers. Got my iced coffee, and then I just sit enjoy the morning and watch the pups as they run around the backyard or in this case cooper is also sitting on a cooler with me trying to eat flies but yeah you just can't beat this y'all i love it well that's never any good when there's water dripping through the ceiling we figured out the leaking in our ceiling must be from the ac unit so i went ahead and turned off the ac and the temperature is already slowly rising in our house However, it looks like it has stopped the leaking pretty much. It's not like a steady drip out the ceiling anymore. So that is great. So this is my zucchini plant I planted in our front yard. And right next to my zucchini plant, there's apparently a little frog who lives right by my zucchini plant. I see him here every single day. He's just hanging out, just a cute little frog. And I guess he's keeping watch over my zucchini plant. Isn't he cute? I did have a squash, which was like right here. I think this is the remnants of him, but Cody weed whacked him accidentally. So I guess I'm only gonna have a zucchini and no yellow squash, but it is what it is. Here's my cute little friend, Hank. All right, y'all, I am so excited. FedEx just stopped by and we got our new LOL mattress in. We're about to haul this bad boy inside and get her set up because I am so excited about having a brand new mattress. I recruited some help and we're gonna go ahead and get this mattress out of the box and get it ready to lay on our bed frame. Oops. Leah! <laughs> <laughs> ah. Check to get the real guns in here. <laughs> We've got the mattress unboxed, so we're going to go ahead and lay this rolled up mattress on our bed frame and start unrolling it before we ever cut the plastic. We got the bed laid out, so the final step is cutting open that plastic and allowing the bed to expand. How simple and easy is that? It'll expand for the most part in a couple of seconds. However, it takes about two to five hours to be fully fluffed up. Cody 
Cody and I couldn't wait any longer. We had to jump on the bed and give it a test. And we are both in agreement that this is a great mattress. It kind of just like hugs your body. Oh, I'm gonna get such a good night's sleep tonight. Do you agree? And it's a king size bed, our first king size bed. And I'm really stoked about that. There's room for Cody and two Cocker Spaniels up here. <laughs> Well, y'all, I am so excited. We got our new lull mattress set up, and I cannot wait to throw the sheets and the comforter on this bad boy and sleep in it for the first time tonight. I have to say, I am so excited about this because the mattress that we've been using for the past two years has definitely not been my favorite. It makes my back hurt. You kind of sink into it too much, and I just was not a fan. So this is actually not my first lull bed. I got one a couple of years ago and I ended up giving it to my grandmother because she really needed a better mattress. And this is such a great option. I've slept in it a lot of times. So when they reached out and wanted to partner together, I jumped right into it because I know that I love this brand. It's a fabulous brand. If you're looking for a new mattress, I would 100% recommend this Lull mattress because my grandmother has now been sleeping on it for years and she absolutely raves about it. Additionally, when you order from Lull, you receive free shipping as well as a 100 night trial. So if you don't like your mattress after 100 days, you have the option to ship it back and receive a full refund. However, I know that you will absolutely love this mattress because it is great and I cannot wait to sleep on it. Thanks again to Lull for partnering with me for today's video. This is a company that I stand behind. I know they make good products. So I'm gonna go grab Cody and I'm gonna grab our sheets and comforter and get it ready for us to enjoy a fabulous night of sleep on our new Lull bed. Well, this is not a designer quality bed setup by any means, but it'll get the job done for now. This was just a comforter I found on sale since we can't go out in public right now. I just found something online and I don't think it's the best quality, but it will do the trick. The, sh the sheets don't match. I don't have king size pillows, but y'all, we got us a new lull bed and I could not be happier. Just look at this little sweetheart. You just chilling on the couch, having a good old day. Look at this crazy Cooper. Look at the crazy Cooper. Look at the crazy Cooper. You are a crazy dog. Here in the very near future, I am desperate to either build or buy a chicken coop. So I am out here by our little shed, trying to scope out an area of where could I put my chicken coop with like 12 chickens in it because I want chickens, y'all. I'm thinking maybe over here on the side of the shed, we have this little space. I think this would be the perfect area for like a run for the chickens, make sure they're staying in the shade. But hmm, y'all, I want chickens so bad. <laughs> In other news, we also today went and picked up some new furniture for the house. So my mom's friend had a bunch of furniture she was getting rid of. And so, I mean, you can't beat free. This stuff obviously needs some love, needs some help. I'm planning on sanding this table and either whitewashing it or putting some chalk paint on it to kind of match the grays and whites that I have this room decorated with. But I think we can manage to make this super cute and fit into the decor. And then we also got two new tables. So this is a coffee table and an end table. This is the glass tops. And there's one of the bases right here. And there's also the other one right here. I'm thinking we are going to spray paint these as well. But for now, I'm throwing everything in the house just because I don't want to leave it outside. Bear with the mess in here. We have some chairs. I'm going to paint those as well. 
We got this bookshelf for my office. We got a nightstand to go by the guest bedroom bed. And I think I'm going to stain this darker to match the dark wood of the bed. And then Cody got this little antique desk. So yeah, I am excited about our new pieces of furniture. And if you have any ideas of how to sand this down and what kind of paint I should use, I'm very open to suggestions. I'm not crafty at all. So there's that. Oh yeah, I forgot. We also picked up this headboard today. Well, since we currently don't have AC in our house, we just came over to my parents' house and my mom has a big meal planned for dinner tonight. So I thought I would let her share the camera and she can show you how we are cooking dinner tonight. So let's go ahead and head inside and let's go cook some dinner. Hey y'all, I'm Lisa, Catherine's mom. And uh, she asked me to talk to you about what I'm cooking for dinner tonight. And I'm just gonna talk a little bit about a couple of things right now. So first thing, I'm gonna finish slicing this banana. So I put together a fruit salad. I've got a lot of extra fruit that's come in um, in my, my Imperfect Foods basket, and my Texas Roadhouse food basket. So I've got a couple of different kinds of oranges that I cut up here in my little fruit salad. And, and then I put a can of pineapple. I had a can of pineapple, so I cut up a can of pineapple. But y'all look at this orange. You see the color of that orange? It was called something that's a Cara Cara, C-A-R-A, C-A-R-A. It's an orange out of California. It's one of the best tasting oranges I think I've ever had in my life. I've never had one of these before, and it is delicious. So you may want to look for a Cara Cara orange and some regular, um, some regular Florida oranges. And I've got banana. I'm putting in here and I'm probably gonna I'm gonna add some coconut so I guess in the south we may call this ambrosia um, but I'm using my Bob's Red Mill unflaked or flaked unsweet coconut so I'm gonna add some um, coconut to my fruit salad while I'm stirring up my fruit salad I'm gonna talk to you a little bit because, um, Catherine, do you see my shirt that I'm wearing? Mm-hmm. So I'm actually wearing my Hill Rom shirt, and the reason I'm gonna mention it today is I work for a company called Hill Rom, and we're a major medical supplier, mm -hmm. and my job with Hill Rom is I'm the Senior Clinical Outcomes Manager. I'm a registered nurse, and I work with uh, hospitals all over, and we have been very busy the last few weeks providing uh, much-needed equipment to hospitals, things like hospital beds, uh, vital signs machines, ventilators. So my company has been very busy. We've been working with a lot of hospitals and I wanna thank, uh, say a big shout out and a thank you. I'm really proud to work for the company that I do, but those of you that are out working, that you're healthcare providers, that you are working in environmental services in the hospitals, dietary services, any of those you working in healthcare, in the hospital environment, and just healthcare in general, um, nursing assistants, just anybody that's out there in healthcare, I want to say a great big shout out and thank you for everything you're doing. Again, I also want to say the same thing, any of the, you in service today that is working with us and you're helping make sure I'm getting groceries for my family, um, you're making sure I'm, need, I'm getting the pet food I need for my pets, that you're in the trucks, that you're delivering um, items all over the United States that we so desperately need. Those of you in small businesses that have, have chipped in and you have helped to uh, make, up, make some needs. The people who made me my homemade face masks were just wonderful. They were a small sewing business. Um, those of you who've changed your businesses and your lives around and you're staying home to help flatten this curve and keep us safe. And I know I've missed people, but I just want to say thank you to each and every one of you that's out there um, helping flatten this curve. And, and uh, we are thinking about you in our household tonight. All right, had to, had to take a minute to, take, to get myself together here, but I'm getting ready to cook dinner for tonight. So um, we're not keto cooking over here. We're eating the food that we have and um, I'm trying to make healthy options. So in a little while, I'm cooking pork chop and rice in the oven. I made that fruit salad. We're gonna make Hasselback yellow squash. And um, so I had my vegetables over here. I've been cutting up to get ready and, and we'll be cooking all that in a little while. All right, so tonight I am gonna cook some pork chops and rice. I'm gonna use my big pot here. So the first thing I'm gonna do is start off by melting some butter. 
That's probably uh, three quarters of a stick of butter. It was some leftover I had from our corn on the cob last night. And earlier today, I chopped up an entire yellow onion, about a large size yellow onion, and five stalks of celery. So it's about, I don't know, three cups total of vegetables that I've chopped up. So what I'm getting ready to do is saute these in the butter. Okay, I'm starting off with that melted butter. I'm adding the onions and the celery to it. So I'm gonna saute that for just a minute. So I'm gonna add, I had a, a container of mushrooms that came in my uh, Texas Roadhouse box the other day. So I'm chopped those up. I'm gonna add it. That's not usual, but since I had them, I'm gonna put them in there. And then I have two cups of rice and I use Mahatma long grain white rice is my favorite kind of rice for, for cooking recipes like this. And um, this is two cups of rice that I've already washed. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna saute my rice a little bit too before I put it in the oven to cook. I don't know why I do this. It's just something my grandma always said to do. She says it makes it cook better when you put it in the oven. I'm gonna season the pork chops and get them ready to go. So I had eight boneless pork chops and uh, this is probably too many for all of us, but this is what I'm, I'm fixing. So I am using um, Slap, Your Mama. Slap Your Mama Creole seasoning, or is it Cajun seasoning? Comes out of Ville Platte, Louisiana. I go back and forth between two different kinds of Cajun seasoning that I like the best. But I'm right now just gonna put some seasoning on these pork chops. So if you look, the rice and areas is starting to brown a little bit. The vegetables have started to wilt. All right, so. The rice and the vegetables is ready. I haven't put any salt in the rice. So I'm gonna do, this is two cups of rice, so two teaspoons of salt. I've got four cups of beef broth. What did I use? I think I've talked about it before, that better than bouillon. It comes and it's um, like a paste. A paste and you mix it with water. So that's what I use. So I put my four cups of beef bouillon in there. So this is gonna be all ready. The rice part of it's ready. I've got some olive oil heating up over here. So I'm gonna go ahead and got a couple of uh, the pork chops I'm gonna start browning. I'm gonna add two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce, but two tablespoons of Worcestershire to give it some extra sauce. And I actually want a little bit of thickening and I'm gonna use a can of cream of mushroom soup and it's just gonna give me a little bit of a um, thicker sauce with my rice. It'll make it more gravy-like. So everything is ready. And as soon as I brown those pork chops and put them on top, we're gonna bake it in the oven. For the pork chops, you're not uh, cooking them through. You're just browning them, you know, kind of searing in in the, the spices and after you've seared them, browned them on both sides, you're gonna place them into the rice mixture to stick in the oven. So when the pork chops are ready, I'm cooking them pork two at chop. a time here, but I'm just gonna set them on the top. And when I'm finished with all of them, we'll be sticking them in the oven. Hey, Mike, come here. Tell uh, Catherine's friends. Hey. Uh, hey. Hey to all of Catherine's friends. Hey to all of Catherine's friends. Hey, y'all ever deglaze your pan? I think that's the right term for it, but for me, it's just, there's good stuff sticking to the bottom of the pan after you've, um, after you have, have braised your meat or seared your meat. So I'm just adding a little water to it and getting those goodies, gonna pour it over the top, add a little flavor, and I'm gonna stick all this in the oven. We're gonna make Hasselback squash you cut till you're almost all the way to the bottom and you want to just kind of fan it open so you can stuff it while you bake it. All right, so that's what we're doing. Nice. We have our little slices of butter and we're just going ahead and shoving that into each slice of the squash. So we're gonna drizzle it with olive oil on the top. And I'm gonna use some seasoned pepper, sprinkle it with seasoned pepper. I use um, Lowry's seasoned pepper. So for the Hasselback zucchinis, you basically just slice it up, add some butter, season them a little bit, add a little bit of olive oil, 
and you're gonna place them in a 350 degree oven for about 20 minutes or until they are soft. So the squash is pretty much almost done. So for the last few minutes, I got some of this crumbled bacon and um, I mixed it with some shredded cheese. And what I'm gonna do is just separate in between in here and just stuff some of this cheese and bacon down in between in the squash. I'm gonna just stick it back in the oven for a few minutes and just let all this get all melty and, and good inside of the squash and it'll be ready. I think I'm gonna put it back in for five minutes. Okay, everybody. So we have the Hasselback um, squash and you see how the cheese and the belt bacon's kind of all melted into it. And look, here's the rice and the pork chops that we're getting ready to dig into and I just tasted that and it sure is good. I wish y'all were all here joining it with us. Is this little chicken just not the most adorable thing in the entire world? She's just so small and she's so cute. She looks like a little baked potato with a head. She always goes to bed a lot earlier than our other chicken for some reason. Probably because she's like 10 years old. She's an old chicken. I've had her forever. You're still holding on strong, girl, aren't you? Hey guys, it is the next morning now. Last night after we had that delicious dinner, Cody and I basically just passed out. Mom's cooking is always just hearty and delicious and we enjoyed every single bite of it. And we had so much, I wish I could have invited y'all all over to enjoy it with us. But I hope that you guys enjoyed today's vlog. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel down below if you haven't done so. And I will see y'all again very soon with another video. Bye guys! Mwah.